Hello, welcome to another Wizard Wants to Watch you video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a very powerful and very unfun and uninteractive combo that you can pull off with Branded Despia. The center of the combo being Raw's Disciple. If you're not familiar with this card, there's enough cheap versions you can buy it. But if you do have the secret rares from Dragons of Legend, they have gone from value quite a bit. At least at the time making this video. So maybe it's time to offload them. So what does this card do? It's less of what it does, it's more what it doesn't do. So it's got an effect when it's summoned, you can special summon up to two more Raw's Disciple from your deck. Which sounds pretty cool, it's an extender, except you can't special summon while you control this card. And it can only be tributed for a tribute summon of Wing Dragon Raw, Slifer Sky Dragon, or Obelisk the Tormentor. So not even like Sphere Mode or anything else, just the original three God card. So you might think, wow, that's a pretty bad card. Why would you ever want that on your field? What if I told you we're not trying to summon it to our field? We're going to summon it to our opponent's field. How do we accomplish that? Well, in Power of the Elements, there was a nice common card called Branded Expulsion. And what Branded Expulsion is going to let us do is when you activate it, you tribute a fusion monster on your side of the field. Then you're able to target two banished monsters or monsters in either graveyard. And then you get to special summon one to each side of the field. Or, if you tribute a fusion monster that lists Fallen of Alvaz as a material, you can summon both of the targeted monsters to your field in defense position. So, when this card first got revealed and people were uh, testing it out, Artifact Scythe seemed like the ideal choice to use with this. But, this is going to let us do more to your opponent, or prevent your opponent from doing a lot more than just a Scythe lock. So, I'm going to show you to do it. This whole combo... 1.5 card combo. You only need one thing. That being a way to branded fusion and then a card to discard. So I'm going to walk through the combo. What you do is, for example, you normal summon Alibur. Alibur effect, you're searching branded fusion. Next, you activate branded fusion and you're going to be sending the Raw's Disciple and Fallen of Albaz to Grave. Diffusion summon Albion, the Branded Dragon. You're then going to activate Albion Effect. Albion Effect is going to banish itself and Fallen of Albaz in order to summon a Lubellion, the Searing Dragon. You're going to activate Lubellion Effect on Summon, discarding that card in hand, in order to Fusion summon Mirror Jade. So we're going to return the Albion and the Fallen of Albaz to deck for Mirror Jade. Next, you're going to activate Mirror Jade Effect, sending Albion to Grave for cost, and then you're going to banish the Aluber in this case, or any monster. All you need to do is leave a Fusion Monster on the field at end phase for this combo to work. So, it's going to be end phase, you're going to activate Albion Effect, you're going to set the Branded Expulsion. Then you're going to pass turn, it's your opponent's turn, you're going to activate Branded Expulsion, in this case, you could tribute either Fusion Monster, and then you were able to special summon the Alibur on your field and the Raw's Disciple on your opponent's field. Then, the added benefit of this is we've special summoned a Luber, so you're able to activate effect again. You can grab another copy of Branded Fusion, you can grab Branded in Red, Branded Opening, really whatever you need to progress the game state. Because normally, by the time you remove Raw's Disciple off the field, you're going to be pushing for OTK, which this deck is very capable of doing. So, let's say you're in this scenario, you're on the other end of it. Your opponent put a Raw's Disciple on your board. What doesn't it let you do? So, you can't special summon other monsters. You can't tribute it. So, unlike something like uh, Ido, where it just prevents you from summoning, this... You can't even tribute set oh, like a Psyframe Driver or a Spell Canceler over it to shut it down. Your only outs are things like Forbidden Droplet, where you can send it for cost to negate something on your opponent's field. Forbidden Chalice, you can target itself to negate its effect. Or any other effect that's going to negate the Raw's Disciple effect. That's really your only way out of this. So... What else you can do to prevent this from going off is hitting it before your opponent gets special summon it. So, 
If they're at the point where Ra's Disciples in their graveyard and they're trying to activate Branded Expulsion, we'll just pull that back out. Chain Abyssal Monster. Chain DD Crow. Do what you can. Banish the Ra's Disciple. And then because this card targets, because the target moved from graveyard to banish, it forgets what it targets and it won't summon out the Ra's Disciple in your field. So, just a quick and dirty video there. Uh, hope you... Uh, are better equipped to be able to deal with this lock if it happens to you or if you like playing Branded Despia, that you're ready to lock your opponent out of playing the game in order to secure the win. So that's all I have for you today. I will see you guys in the next video.